Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another resin project. So today I am actually really excited because we are going to be making a wind chime, a dragonfly wind chime. I have seen several resin wind chimes and I love them, but they're more like sun catchers. They don't really make noise. Resin against resin is kind of clunky. I want a wind chime. I want it to make noise. I want it to sound beautiful. I want to hang it in my tree. So I've decided that we are going to make a wind chime with cookie cutters. A, you can get them. They're really cheap. They're metal. So they'll theoretically sound really good against my wind chimes. They come in lots of different like shapes. So I went online. I searched for wind chimes, not wind chimes. Search for that too. Have to get some wind chimes. But I searched for cookie cutters and I found these really cute dragonfly cookie cutters, which is perfect. So I'm obsessed with Outlander right now. Um, it's kind of a really awesome show. I've seen it, I'm all cut up, but I've been watching it again from the beginning with my mom. We're binging it. It's a lot of Outlander. And I made an Outlander shirt with some infusible ink recently. You guys might have seen that over on the blog. So even though this isn't an Outlander inspired wind chime, it reminds me of that. So. I'm pretty excited. I'm also talking a lot with my hands today, so I guess we're having a party. I'm just excited. So I'm going to show you guys everything that you need to get started, and then we're going to jump right into this, okay? So if you don't want to watch the whole supply list, it is down below. There's also a whole blog post and exactly how to do this, and it has the full supply list with all the links. But we're going to get started. So first things first. You need cookie cutters, okay? I picked dragonflies. You can pick whatever you like. I did find the exact dragonflies I bought, um, and I will link those below. I bought mine on eBay, and they ended up being like $7 for all seven of them, but the ones that I found that are the exact copies, I think they're on Amazon, and they're a little more expensive, but they're so cute, you guys. But, you know, shop around. Maybe you wanna do ladybugs or so oh, my cat's here. She's a really good helper. I have to lock her inside when I do resin. It's okay. We'll get started and then I'll put her back inside. So what you need first is resin. So for this project I'm using, dun da da dun, this is the part V, this is the hardener, Envirotech Light resin. It's a two part resin. So that's a one to one ratio. So that means for every part of part A, you need an equal part of part B. If you've never mixed resin before, I have a how to mix resin for beginners post. I will link that down below, but it's actually pretty simple. And all we're doing in this post today, in this video, in this project, is pouring straight resin into our cookie cutters. You will spend more time prepping your cookie cutters than you will with the resin. It's a very easy beginner project. So if you've never done anything with resin before, don't be scared. It's really easy. It turns out really cute. So you need your resin. I have the big jugs. You can get smaller ones. You need about 500 milliliters for this project um, to make seven dragonflies and the base of our circle. So figure that out. And then you need your safety gear. So we have our Darth Vader respirator with our resin graded filters that are pink which is kind of my favorite thing. And then you're going to need your gloves. I've got a whole box of them here. You need the ones that are nitro. I never know how to say that. So it doesn't matter what color they are. Mine are pink, because again, pink. You need some kind of gloves. Um, pick whichever ones you like. Then you need your heat gun. Doo -doo -doo. This is my little HT400. And if you've never seen me use this before, it's because you've never watched a resin video. I use it for pretty much everything. But it's from Wagner. It's like 24 bucks, you guys. It has two settings, slow and high, so it's really awesome. I use it for shrink plastic. I use it for heat embossing. I use it for resin. It's kind of like next to my Cricut. My Cricut and my heat gun are like my favorite tools in my entire craft room, so get one. You'll love it. Then 
what else do we need? We need paint. So for this project, I am going to be using pink and purple because I'm, that's just what I like. Okay guys, if you want to make orange dragonflies, go for it. So I grabbed these. They're just acrylic paints that I had. They're deco art and they're metallic. They turn out really pretty. Um, now my dogs have joined the party. They're locked up. They're out back, but you can hear them. Um, we're only going to be using enough paint to make our little dragonflies transparent. So you don't need a lot. I mean like three drops each. Okay guys. So if you don't, if you have little containers, that's fine. But this is what I used. They look really pretty. Then you need a little bit of glitter. I would have preferred pink and purple glitter, but I only had pink. Um, I bought a whole pack of different colors that I use for different resin projects. Um, I thought I'd had a purple, but I don't. So I like these. They're technically for like face or makeup glitter, body paint, um, but they, <laughs> they work for resin. But I like them because they're a whole mixture. Let me get really close. They have big and little, a whole different mixture of glitter in there, okay? So then you need your mixing cups and you need two smaller mixing cups that are gonna hold about 250 milliliters, one that holds about 350 milliliters, and you need a larger cup to mix everything in. So I'll mix all of my resin. And... Hey, guys, we're filming YouTube. They don't care. Um, in case you needed to know, my neighbor's dog, Charlie Brown, looks like he's outside, so they're they're just chatting through the fence. You're gonna mix all your resin in one big cup, and then you'll pour it into smaller cups with your purple and your pink resin. So that's why we need two. You need something to mix them with. I bought these in a starter pack that included cups, stir sticks, a silicone mat, and it's just like all kinds of good beginner basics. I'll put that down below. So you can use popsicle sticks. You can use a paint paddle. Guys, video. <laughs> you just don't get it. It doesn't matter what you stir with, but you gotta stir. So I like these because resin just peels right off them. You can use them again. Then you need something for the base. So I just grabbed one of my round circles from my poster mold pack. This pack came with this large size, two mediums, and a little tiny one. They're great gradual. So this is the biggest one. I probably could have used the next smallest one. My circle is a little bigger than I wanted, but you'll see my wind time is pretty big and awesome. You can make a smaller version. Then you need fishing wire and you need wind chimes. Um, I went with three larger wind chimes and seven smaller ones because I did a whole circle with graduated sizes and beads. Um, I wanted to get extra fancy. I hope you guys like dogs. If you don't, this is life. I don't know. Um, I wanted to get extra fancy so I used some resin beads that I'd made in a previous video. I'll link that down below. It's not done yet, but I'll link it when it's ready. And then I just use some beads that I have in my collection. I believe that is everything I used in this project. If it's not, you can check out the full supply list down below and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we secured the dragonflies because they're cookie cutters, right? They don't have a bottom. How we secured them to our silicone mat. You do need a silicone mat or freezer paper or acetate, something that resin won't stick to. I use a silicone mat on a baking pan. Um, you do need to secure your cookie cutters to it. I used hot glue. You need hot glue. Check out the supply list. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you exactly how to secure your cookie cutters to your silicone mat, how to pour the resin into it, how to pop all the bubbles with your little heat gun, how to take the hot glue off how to string up your wind chime we're gonna do the whole thing it's gonna be awesome see you in a second
All right, so this is our wind chime completely finished. I hope you guys can see it. I will put some pretty finished shots in there, but dun -da -da -dun. this is how it looks completely finished. I absolutely love how the dragonflies turn out, you guys. Not to mention it just It sounds amazing when the wind blows, which has been dropping all day till I want to film this and show it to y'all. So, I need all seven dragonflies. We have the large wind chimes in the middle. We have the pretty little wind chimes with the resin beads. I'm just in love with how it turned out. Now, this is the little resin circle that we made. I should have let it cure a couple more days because it's starting to bend under the weight. I only let it cure for like two days. Do as I say, not as I do, and let it cure for a full seven days. So I've taken this down from my tree where I've been listening to it. And I'm going to put it down inside where the resin circle can fully cure so that it stays flat and doesn't buckle under the weight. The dragonflies with the resin inside of them. I mean, they're beautiful, but they're a little heavy. I mean, resin and cookie cutters. I'm gonna put some pretty finished shots for you guys now, but I am in love with how my wind chimes turned out. I cannot wait to listen to them all summer long. I know you guys probably don't wanna listen to them right now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, if you haven't, subscribe, like, do all the things. Head over to the blog post where you can find a much more in-depth tutorial. It became very hard to film while I was stringing this baby together. So go over there. You can find all of the pretty shots of how to string it all together and do all the things. Okay, guys? Check it out.